kids on. That doesn't mean we should give up. Hello, my resilient friends. I am so glad that we're back together to do church today. This month, we're finding out what resilience is all about. It's about bouncing back and getting back up when something gets you down. You see, all of us will have to face tough challenges in life, but with God's help, we can bounce back and push through. We can make it through even the most difficult situations when we remember that God loves us and God is always with us. It's not easy to get up when you've fallen down, but when you do, you'll find that you can still finish strong. Let's stand up, dance, sing, and celebrate our God who helps us when we fall. Sometimes when you don't know what to do, it feels like you don't even
the mighty God say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What a mighty God we serve. If we're honest, some days just seem a lot harder than others. You might feel like staying in bed or tugging the covers over your head. You don't want to have to face what's out there, the things you have to do, or the things that seem to be going wrong. The person who wrote the book of Hebrews in the Bible knew all about that feeling. This person loved God very much. They understood that the more we discover about what God has done in the past, the more we can trust God to act right now. This person was writing after Jesus had died and come back to life. They were connecting how God's story from the past led up to Jesus. Listen to these words from Hebrews chapter 11. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. That is what the people of long ago were praised for. You see, faith isn't just hoping for the best when you get out of bed. It's being sure of the things you can't see, like the fact that God loves you and is always with you. It means you can choose to trust God no matter what. You believe that God has a bigger plan even when you can't see it. As we read this chapter of Hebrews today, We'll look back at God's work throughout history. We'll see how God worked in the lives of many different people who faced difficult times, but still had great faith. These men and women got back up even when things seemed impossible. We can look at their stories and remember that God can work in the hard parts of our stories too. Let's just think about Abraham. God called Abraham to leave his comfortable life and go somewhere new. As we read in the book of Genesis, God told Abraham, Go from your country, your people, and your father's family. Go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great. You will be a blessing to others. Now Abraham trusted God, even though he didn't know what would happen next. Check out how the author of Hebrews put it. Abraham had faith, so he obeyed God. God called him to go to a place he would later receive as his own. So he went. He did it even though he didn't know where he was going. Because of his faith, he made his home in the land God had promised him. Abraham and his wife Sarah didn't have any children at that point. And yet God promised Abraham that he would have enough kids and grandkids to fill an entire country. Abraham would have more descendants than there were stars in the sky. Abraham took a journey of faith, and that led to God's gift of a son, Isaac. In fact, the entire story of God's people starts with this simple act of faith from Abraham. Now let's look at Abraham's great-grandson, Joseph. Joseph was his father's favorite, and he had a colorful coat to prove it. Joseph shared his dreams with his older brothers, dreams that showed his brothers would one day bow down to him. Now Joseph's brothers were so angry, they sold him into slavery. Joseph ended up far away in Egypt, and he went through many ups and downs in his life. He was even thrown in prison for something he didn't do. But through all the challenges he faced, Joseph made the choice to trust God. In the end, Joseph was made second in command to the Egyptian Pharaoh. Because of this, Joseph was able to store up food and save his family from starvation and the rest of God's people as well. In the book of Hebrews, we read this about Joseph. Joseph had faith, so he spoke to the people of Israel about how they would leave Egypt someday. You see, Joseph believed that one day, God would lead the Israelites out of Egypt 
into a land God had prepared for them. Hundreds of years later, God's people had grown into a great nation, but they were forced to work as slaves. So God called a man named Moses. Moses, an Israelite, had been raised as the Pharaoh's grandson. But when he grew up, he ran away from Egypt. Moses lived a quiet life until God called him from a burning bush. Moses was an old man by this time, but God called him to face down the Pharaoh of Egypt, who was like the king, and demand that he release God's people from slavery. Moses chose to trust God. Eventually, he led the Israelites out of Egypt and through the waters of the Red Sea, even as the Pharaoh chased them. As we read in the book of Hebrews, because of his faith, Moses left Egypt. It wasn't because he was afraid of the king's anger. He didn't let anything stop him. That's because he saw the God who couldn't be seen. For 40 years, Moses led the Israelites through the desert, facing attacks from outside and complaints from his people. At long last, Moses himself was able to glimpse the land that God had promised Abraham so long before. Abraham, Joseph, Moses, these are just a few people that we read about in Hebrews. There's more like Noah, Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, and many more. These people all did amazing things through faith. Now there's something really important that we need to remember about faith though. Faith in God doesn't mean that everything will go perfectly. It doesn't mean that things will go exactly the way we expect. I mean, think about what these people went through. They faced some real ups and downs, but having faith in God for them and for us means that we can keep going because God knows the end of our story. God promises to make everything right for the people in Hebrews and for us. We have an incredible opportunity. When we choose to trust God, we continue the story of these amazing men and women mentioned in the book of Hebrews. Like them, we can face tough challenges with faith. We can live each day with the resilience that comes from our relationship with God. Remember, Trusting God can help you get back up. Say that with me. Trusting God can help you get back up. Think about all the people who came before, like the people mentioned in the book of Hebrews, or maybe people that you know who live lives of faith. Think about how they trust God, even when they don't have the full story. Think about how they kept going. You see, we can be resilient if we put our faith in God if we remember how much God loves us, and if we live like God really is with us. Remember, God knows what you've been through. God knows what you're going through now, and even what you will go through. When you put your trust in God, it means that you believe God is in control, and knowing that can give you the strength to keep going. Trusting God can help you get back up. Let's go up to small group and talk about that some more. Have a good week.